The Massport Memorial Scholarships and Internship honor the memory and legacy of six outstanding public servants. Tommy Butler, Deb Haddon Gray, Donna Roseo, Lowell Richards, and Dave Davis. All were deeply involved in their communities and shared a commitment to improving the lives of young people. Though we can't celebrate in person, we are very happy to hear from their families today. During these most uncertain times, it is important that Massport continue to be a strong supporter of young people to help them prepare for their future, as they will be key in keeping Massachusetts competitive in the global economy. Recipients of these memorial scholarships not only must have a record of outstanding academic achievement, but they also must be active in their community and want to pursue a career in public service. So I want to congratulate each of our recipients. Mary, Dina, Stephanie, Veronica, and Matteo, your futures are bright, and I hope you continue to make your families proud. Congratulations, and I wish you all the best in your upcoming school year. Each year, I am so proud to award our Memorial Scholarships and Internship. This year, especially given these unprecedented times, it is important that we continue to invest in and support young people in our neighboring communities. Having personally known and worked with the Massport employees for whom these Memorial Scholarships are named, and hearing so many wonderful things about Dave Davis, I know each of them would be so incredibly proud to see the recipients we have here with us today. The first award is named after the longtime Director of Government and Community Affairs, Tommy Butler. He was a lifelong South Boston resident. He was also a well-known youth counselor and one-time mayor of the South Boston Boys Club. When he arrived at Massport in 1987 as the manager of intergovernmental relations, he was a licensed social worker who had worked in the Boston Juvenile Court and for the city of Boston. He had the uncanny ability to light up any room that he entered. Today, we welcome Tommy's son, Thomas, to present the Thomas J. Butler Memorial Scholarship. Hello, my name is Tommy Butler, and it is my honor to present the 2020 Thomas J. Butler Memorial Scholarship. Each year, the Butler Scholarship recipients list in their applications the programs and organizations that they are involved in. These range from youth sports to after school programs to peer leadership groups. These were the causes my father championed because he believed that with the right guidance and positive outlets, the youth in South Boston and beyond could achieve great things. The recipient of this year's scholarship is once again proof. Mary Pesevich is a graduate of Boston Latin School where she finished up with an impressive 3.56 GPA while playing softball. When Mary is not excelling in the classroom, she is given back to her community and those in need. Mary, you are a power of example. Best of luck at UNH and I know you will continue to make Sydney and your amazing family proud. My name is Mary Pasovich, and I'm a recent graduate of Boston Latin School. For the last five years, I've been devoted to being a humanitarian. I know Mr. Butler would have been a very special mentor for me. He's inspired me to advocate for others in need and further exercise the power of small acts of kindness. With this scholarship, I'm entering college with deep gratitude and a warmer heart. Sometimes the best way to recognize someone's legacy is to simply carry forward their spirit. Anyone can leave their mark on the world. And thankfully, I now get the opportunity to spread kindness, Tommy Butler style, outside our very small, special hometown of Southie. Deb Haddon Gray joined the Massachusetts Port Authority in 1994 focusing on environmental compliance and served as the port director for the authority from 2012 to 2015. She had a tremendous impact on Massport's maritime mission, particularly shown through her advocacy for the working port and the Boston Harbor dredging project. In addition to her professional accomplishments, Deb was a devoted mom and volunteered time to many causes. Today, we welcome Deb's husband, Dave, to present the Deborah Haddon Gray Memorial Scholarship. First, my family and I would like to thank Massport for honoring Deb's legacy in such a meaningful way. Massport is a special organization that does things so well because of the excellent people who work here. Deb loved these people and our family will always be grateful to them. Dina, my family and I congratulate you on being awarded Massport's first ever Deborah Haddon Gray Memorial Scholarship. You are clearly a worthy recipient, and I know Deb would have agreed wholeheartedly. 
Though these are strange times, I'm sure you're thrilled to be attending your dream school in the fall. Deb was a special person with many talents, but it was her personality, genuineness, and empathy that set her apart. And she was the same decent person in both her professional and personal lives. Deb would be impressed by how you have resolved to advocate for yourself and for others of different ethnicities and religions. So Dina, best of luck in the fall and in your future endeavors. We'll all be rooting for you. My name is Dina Kobesi. I'm a recent graduate of Boston Latin School and I've been a resident of Boston and West Roxbury my whole life. I want to thank Massport and the Deborah Gray family for this scholarship that will help me afford my future at Harvard College, where I plan to joint concentrate in biology and government with a possible secondary in Near Eastern languages and civilizations. In the wake of more attention being put on the pressing issues of climate change, it's comforting to know that Mrs. Gray focused on environmental compliance at Massport. I applied because after reading the requirements, I knew that the scholarship emphasized community service, which is something I could contribute to with my experience serving in the West Roxbury and greater Boston areas as a Boston basketball coach and tutor. I hope that I'll be able to fulfill the expectations the family has for their recipients, honoring the legacy of Mrs. Gray and paving the way for future applicants. The next award is named after Donna Rosseo. Donna was a lifelong resident of East Boston, a graduate of East Boston High School, and was always a mentor and supporter of young women in East Boston. She was the executive assistant to Tom Kinton for more than 20 years. Today, we welcome Donna's husband, John, to present the Donna Rosseo Memorial Scholarship. Hi, I'm John Rosseo. I says I'm Donna's husband. We're here for the 10th annual scholarship fund. I just want to say the out of the recipients this year that applied, Stephanie Fiella was the best qualified. She's from East Boston, attends East Boston High School like my wife did, and she's attending Plymouth State College. I wish Stephanie all the luck in the world, and I hope that the money she receives, she can spend on books and computers. We're in a crazy time in life now, so I'm gonna keep it short and sweet, and I'm gonna ask everybody, please wear your mask out there. Thank you. My name is Stephanie Fiella, and I am a recent graduate of East Boston High School. The scholarship is going to help me pay for college, which will help me further my education and give me the chance to give myself a better future for myself and for my family. Being the winner of the scholarship made my family very proud because they saw the hard work I put into school and sports all throughout the years. I will be attending Plymouth State University and will major in sports management. I want to excel in school and graduate with honors. Being able to do something with sports will give me a chance to do something I love and enjoy with my life. Thank you to the Rosario Family Scholarship Committee and Massport for this opportunity. Lowell was one of the moving forces behind the development of the South Boston Waterfront District, and many city improvements bear his imprint as well. Lowell was responsible for Massport's agency-wide strategic and master planning activities including the airports and the seaport, as well as the agency's private, commercial, and residential real estate development in South Boston, East Boston, and Charlestown. In addition to his great work at Massport, he took a genuine interest in the education and careers of young people. Today, we welcome Lowell's wife, Karen, to present the Lowell L. Richards Memorial Scholarship. Hello, my name is Karen Richards, Lowell Richards, was Chief Development Officer for Massport and my husband of more than 40 years. Lowell left me many things, but I have been truly blessed to have his fellowship and scholarship recipients in my life. The annual application review meetings carry an additional blessing. They keep me in touch with the wonderful people at Massport who have chosen to remember either the guy they knew or the man they have heard of or both. And then there's you, Veronica. It is my hope that I will meet you someday when the skies are clear and we can all breathe again. Perhaps we will become friends and you will become an important part of my life as have other Massport scholars before you. But no matter what circumstances bring, you are now one of Lowell's ships. Scholarship, fellowship, internship. Sail on, Veronica. 
Hi, my name is Veronica Ty Padrone. I am 18 years old and I am a graduate of ACC, another course to college, located in Hyde Park. I have been living in Dorchester my whole entire life and this fall, thanks of the Richard Scholarship, I will be attending Ohio Wesleyan University. In the future, I hope to become an ambassador to countries for the government. I feel like people all over the world are not equal and that I can fix that, that I can help people by working with the country's governments and making new um, laws and packs and um, changing the world. So I just wanted to say thank you Richard's family, Massport, and the Scholarship Committee. And last but not least, we present the David W. Davis Memorial Internship. Dave Davis served as Massport's Executive Director from 1975 until 1990, establishing a solid record of achievement and confidence in Massport's employees who elected him to represent them on the Massport Retirement Board in 1996. Today, we welcome Dave's wife, Nikki, to present the David W. Davis Memorial Internship. Hello, my name is Nikki Janice, and I was uh, married to David Davis for 15 years. He was my husband, and I know he regrets not being here to congratulate you and to encourage you to follow your dream of working with airports. Dave would be very proud of you. He would encourage you to ask questions if you have doubts. He would encourage you to take small risks, um, but to ask for help if you need it, and to be proud of yourself for earning the opportunity to do what you've dreamed of doing, which is to work it with aviation. I know that the Massachusetts Port Authority will be behind you if you ever need advice or help, and I'm proud of you, and congratulations. Hey y'all, I want to first thank the family of David Davis and Massport for this great opportunity and being selected to be part of the Massport community. I'm honored and very appreciative to spend the next couple of months working for the Boston Logan Airport and gain experience towards my future career. I believe that we all have one goal in life, and that is to better ourselves and our community. I applied for this internship because it has two things I'm passionate about. One, the aviation industry, and two, serving our community. I want to be part of an organization that is bettering the aviation industry and the people of Massachusetts. I've experienced how public services helped me get to college, and with that, I do my part and serve others in the St. Louis area to better their community and improve their lives. I plan on learning as much as I can to excel and be the first professional for my family. I look forward to this great opportunity and again, I thank you for all you and your family have done for our community. I, I hope that after this pandemic gets through, we can meet in person. Thank you. I want to thank all of the Memorial Scholarship and Internship Committees, family representatives and scholarship and internship recipients. I know firsthand how impactful these opportunities can be in the lives of young people. Congratulations to each of this year's recipients and I wish you and your families the very best of luck in the future.